Hello, and welcome to Geller's Pride, a thief fan mission by Spitter. Let's get off the noisy menu. And I'll read the preview. It seems that a certain Lord Geller has an intriguing amount of gold in his possession, just ripe for taking. He's not natively from the city, but my contacts lack information about his original homeland. For a foreigner, he's in a surprisingly wealthy position, and he's a careful one too. He has stored most of his wealth in the first city bank and trust. So instead of the usual burglary, I'm thinking of blackmail. My contacts tell me that Geller isn't really as pure as the driving snow, but they don't know the details. My plan is quite simple. Break into his mansion, search for anything useful for blackmailing, and take some of his wealth in the process. Not just anything will do for blackmailing purposes. Quite a few persons who have robbed haven't really had terribly good relations with their wives, for example. And I doubt Geller is an exception, but I need to dig up something really dirty. Something so secret it'll scare him to death. Getting to the mansion should be easy. As I'm not very well known in this section of the city, the blue coats should generally leave me alone. The mansion itself is another story. If my contact's information is right, it should have been under a break-in recently. Apparently nothing major got stolen, but the guards are a bit tense about anyone who's looking a little suspicious. It seems they've gone as far as threatening innocent people crossing the street. But I'm sure I can easily slip past them. And it's not that anyone is forcing me to use the front entrance. Besides, this whole job is clearly worth the risk. If everything goes as planned, I could easily become a rich man. Garrett. Garrett. That blackmailing rich people does not make you rich. It makes you... Either makes you... A, you know, a smallish, moderate amount of money, or it makes you dead. Uh, and that's the nature of being a metaparasite. Uh, Lord Geller probably has some dirt in his history. Go dig it up. He'll be good for blackmailing. And some money's always a bonus. Get, uh, actually, go up. Um, what do rich people need their money for anyway? Get 1,200 in loot. Servants and stuff haven't done anything. Don't kill them. Also be sure not to kill Lord Geller himself. The dead can't be blackmailed. After you've done with your other objectives, get back to where you started. Okay, the dead can't be blackmailed, but what if he came back as a zombie? Can the undead be blackmailed? I'm not sure we've done the research on that. Let's begin. What do we have? 650... Oh, you're gonna make me buy the map? One of your contacts has been able to get a recent map of the Gellers Manor. But obviously he expect a price, expects a price for it. Costs 100. Well, I mean, I've got to, right? But your tip. An acquaintance has some information about the Manor's alarm system for a price. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants their... Look, I'm 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 stealing from the rich, not I don't need to give it to the other poor. Alright, whatever. I'll buy them. Uh, I don't have any rope arrows, so I definitely need one. That does not leave me very much. You can me three moss, fifteen broadheads, those are all good. Flash bones are great, but I'd probably rather have water arrows. Actually I'm not really sure. Well, water arrows let me be stealthy on the way in. Flash bombs are the, if I get caught, right? So, so if I simply do not get caught, why would I need flash bombs? Let's stock up on water instead. There we go. Nine water arrows. I will be, you know, you know, once once I get down to like three, I might stop spending them profligately. But if I've got nine, I can actually use them without without too much uh, fear of wastage. Let's check out this this map. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you made me pay a hundred oh no, okay, it's got more pages. I was gonna say if that's the whole map, you made me pay a hundred gold pieces for this square with this light blob on the end. No right. Okay, that's just the city city layout. Okay, no, this is good. This is a good map. I'll I'll grant you. Fair enough, that's worth the money. Uh, games room, chapel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Looks like a reasonably uh, straightforward, um, you know, moderately small mansion. Alright, we're coming from the north. So. Will the. Uh, is he is he a blue coat or is he one of Killer's guards? So you don't know if that bit in the thing is telling me that I can uh, 
avoid worrying about all street patrols. I mean, he's got a purple coat, right? He's literally not a blue coat. Who's, whose house is this? This is Miguel's, but... Well, we're in the neighborhood. It'd only be rude not to say hello to the neighbors, right? Is it guarded, though? Can't hear any footsteps. Oh, okay, that's not a door. Cool, alright, so nobody's gonna be coming through it. Didn't see where the guard went, right on there. Further west. So this is still the streets. Alright, well let's let's go in the same direction as he did. That's Geller's place in there. Does it have a name? On the sideboard? No, it's just just hey, it's a pub. Oh, he went to the pub. Of course he did. What do you got? Nothing good. The question is, is he going to object? If I was to try and go behind the counter. I mean, they used to do, right? No? Hey man, I'm just going to read your private notes here. Yeah, hack. About that drunken tapper who passed out, I hold him to room two. Let him sleep there this night. He looked kind of rich. Well, richer than our usual patrons, anyway. I'm thinking of making him pay double for the amount of the room. He's probably having an even worse hangover than that hammerhead. You still remember him? <laughs> I doubt he can notice the difference when I give the bill to him. The simplest solutions are always the best, like I've always said. Oh, it's not private messaging, it's just... The, uh... Previous... Still off talking to this guy. All right. Glad you don't mind me doing that. How about this? Guys, did you stop whistling? I'm gonna check on that tapper, right? The rich tapper. Seems worth... Worth investigating. Room two, huh? Who's in room one then? Oh. Just leaving money on the table? Nope. There's nobody in room one? Room one had some carrots. It's not a rich stuffer. Well, rich stuffer is sleeping. We'll try and keep it that way. Yeah, he's got fancy clothes. Guest room key. Oh, I bet he's a guest in Geller's. I mean, he was just down here having a drink. All five. Did he leave anything in the bathroom? Doesn't appear so. Well, if that is indeed a key to Geller's place, that's going to be or to the room in Geller's place. That could be useful. Do you not have any actual money here? Well, maybe that maybe you left that tip on the table out there. I don't know. But you've been you've been drunk in the sleep the whole time. That doesn't make sense. Never mind. I got something useful out of you, even if it's not of particular financial value. Ah, uh, poor Barrick. These barbarians don't deserve you. Well, oh, okay, it doesn't look like, looks like we can get down it, but it doesn't look like this. Anything down here except a lost bucket. All right. Sometimes people lose valuable objects down the well and it's, and they don't sink to the sand. 
Can you help me with the bakers? No. Oh, right. I was wondering what this narrow bit on the map was. These, these two towers. Is that out of Lord Gallus' estate? Something seems to connect to it. I need to be able to get into it. Got a guard. Oh, it's a hemorrhite. Oh, hemorrhites are not going to be happy to see me. That, that we know. I look too much like a, uh, an atheist. Well, you going along to the pub before your brother notices you. Wait, you whistle. Purple goats. Hey, man. I don't know if the hammerite would have actually been that. Uh... Right, so it's that. Right, those guards are fine. I suppose the laws are not caught doing anything suspicious. Maybe the hammerite would have been as well. I don't know. Maybe he's just uh, relatively on. I don't know. What's the word? Relatively peaceful street wanderer and not just guarding the hammerite areas. You know, he doesn't think the whole world is his territory, perhaps. We do have sewers, okay. Where are we now? We're on the uh, southern side, southern, southern middle, I guess. Have to use the front entrance. I will want to scout around. Oh, that's gonna be killers. Yeah, this is banner. Gee, this is the front door then. Make sure if there's guards. Oh, there are guards on the ramparts. They don't see me being suspicious out here. Us. Bob's meatballs! Best meatballs in the city. Oh, no lights, please. No lights. Alright, so let's close the window in case anyone sees it open and gets suspicious that there might be tapers looking within. I can leave the front door locked. I'll turn the light on here. There's no windows here to people to see the light through. Bergen, I know you mean you're scared, but could you please, please, please stop sending those boys of yours my way? They have all these idiotic ideas. Listen to this. Bob wants to make you his bitch. How in the hell am I going to sell meatballs with a slogan like that? Hell, your boys aren't cheap either. I just need to sell three million, yes, three million meatballs to cover up the costs they've caused. Bob. Well, this is a, uh... Uh, Bob's, Bob, it must be Bob Romero then. Uh, this mission is from uh, the early 2000s, so I guess having a, an early 2000s joke very dated, very, very dated nowadays. I mean, it's obviously dated anyway, but I guess you're allowed to when it's more topical. Okay. They were walking the ramparts. They did see me, but not enough to uh, to get fully spooked. And it was careless there. Oh, we got more sewers here. Where are we now? We're on on the eastern side. I can't even spell. All right. So I think I'm going to try a sewer approach, right? I guess my choices are ramparts or sewers. And let's just see if there's any other neighbours that have a little too much loose cash lying around. I think not. Oh, well, we've got a 
Use the front doors if you must. Okay, we've got a back gate on the north side. Huh, I can't do shift B. Why can't I do shift B? That's really weird. I don't know why I can't do shift B. I literally can't type a capital B and I don't have a capital key on this keyboard. Lord Geller's probably already wanting me back to clean the manor. Oh, I wish I could just leave. Why don't you then? Huh, and do what? Start begging for money on the streets? Oh, I really don't have much of a choice. Oh well, I'll see you later. Do you have any keys? Mm -hmm. You know what? You might not be carrying keys on your belt, you might be a little more careful on carrying them folded away in your tunic. So what if some passerby just happened to follow you and slipped in the gate behind you? Would you even notice such a thing? Uh -huh. Careless of you to leave the back gate open. Oh shit. Might not be able to get in that door. Oh well. That still is is a positive outcome. Having the back gate open. Means uh maybe I go in that way instead of the sewers? I don't know. We have another sewer entrance right here as well. Um, I mean I haven't marked the back gate reliably, right? I don't know. Exactly where we are, streetwise. Hello, ma'am. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. Do you mind if I just sample some of your wares? You don't mind. Uh, yes, uh, my agent will be by later today to settle the cost with you, if that's alright. Thank you. Now, this is deep one, right? By default, food does nothing. Except it gets crunched when you eat it. It doesn't heal. So it's probably entirely worthless for me to do that, but hey, why not? And it's possible they added the stim to it to make it heal. Because all right, that's where we started. Because certainly some people have done that in their uh, C1 bound missions. Well, right, let's check out the sewers. I'm not getting through there. Probably just not make too much noise by default because sometimes sewers are occupied, but you know. No, I can't hear anything. Well, it might be that the sewers just don't connect to Lord, Lord Geller's place at all, that's quite... That's entirely possible. Or the connection might not be exploitable, we might be able to... You know, it might just be pipes. But, you never know what might else we might find in a sewer, it's worth checking out. What happened here? Boring, boring, boring. That idiot fence one of you, Stephen Boy, I said that the business is kind of low nowadays. I lost almost all of my money at gambling, and the rest of it was spent at this diary. Should stop writing these things. Still no new jobs. Some nobleman contacted me. He wants to hire me. Me? Johan Templer, just your usual run of the mill thief? Interesting, to say the least. Okay, it's official now. I have a job. Find some guy and beat him up. I usually don't do assassinations, but the 20,000 is going to keep me up for some time. With my superb skills at negotiation, I was able to get half of the sum in advance. This friend of mine, Arco, was able to provide me with a suit. Not just some suit, but his very own patented Assassin Special suit. It has very light and durable armor all over it, nifty belt for general stuff, a cape, and it's all black. Also very light and tight, making it ideal for my job. 
It was quite expensive, but I still have some money left. My victim, Upong, probably stays at his apartment. With my skills, which are the best, by the way, I found out that he lives in Shalebridge. No, I'm gonna kill Arco for this. There I was, happily swimming towards the boat where the guy was residing. Got out of the water, and I slipped! After my little bath in the water, I climbed back onto the ship and slipped again! After that, I climbed again into the ship. Then I noticed it. Walking was very hard because the damn suit was shrinking. And then I slipped again! Finally, I have time to write. Well, the damn suit kept shrinking due to it being wet, and this really wasn't in any shape for assassination. Just great. Arco provided me with the best suit of all time, and it wasn't waterproof. Like that wasn't enough, it was damn hard to swim back to safety with that suit squeezing all over me. Now it seems that my employer wants me dead. I've been hiding for some time now. You know, these sewer spiders taste much better than they look. Anyway, I've heard that there's this big old guild house somewhere outside the city. Guild of Assassins, that is. Well, I've had some experience in assassinating now, so I think that I'd better find my way in there and hope that they'll let me join them. I'm probably the best thing they've seen since... Since... Bo? Since sliced bread, I guess? Since... Since... Since bows? Since archery... You know, archery bows? Is that what he's saying? I don't know. What am I even writing in this diary? Their hideout has one big mistake. I don't know why, but they have a sewer tunnel right below them leading back to the city. Oh, that's my way in. I was treading to the west of the system when I encountered a fellow even hiding. Our meeting was actually quite short as I was asking for directions and he told me to get lost. That bastard even had the guts to point me at his dagger. Well, I think it was a dagger. It was shiny and small. Maybe too small for a dagger. And there wasn't much light, so I'm not sure really. Ah, uh, who cares, let him rot. Oh, damn. That spider tastes bad. I'm feeling kinda of sick right now, so I'll write this quick. I have a feeling that I'm right below the guildhouse now. I've heard some whispering and steps from above. But I'm too sick to climb that ladder right now. Really, it hurts so much that I can barely write, much less climb. I tried to shout for them, but I'm too tired to move my lips. I can write quite perfectly though, which is kinda of interesting. Damn. Just have to wait for tomorrow and see if I feel better then. Well, I guess you gotta be careful which sewer spiders you eat. I wonder how much he had left. How much did he have got? 77. <laughs> 50. He had 50 from left of his 10,000 advance. Okay, so... Oh, this is not the street. This is a noisy room. Is it the Guild of Assassins or is it something else entirely? I guess we'd better be careful until we find out the answer, right? There's a note there underneath the torch, which I'll check out in a second. Hello? Guild of Tasty Wine, anyway. Take that. Nothing hiding behind these... These crates, or... Or lost behind them. I hear whistling and footsteps. lean against the door. I don't know if that's coming this way or not. Let's read the note. You! I know who you are. If I find one more wine bottle missing, I'll fire you. I'll fire them. Is that all? You're a guild of assassins. Probably firing isn't the best threat you can make. Unless this is Gillis. Maybe this is Gillis' place. I mean, we. I kind, of, I, I kind of. Oh, I was using my compass to navigate the sewers, but kind of got where I was. There's a note saying to basement, so maybe this is. Are you the guy we followed? It's quite possible. Oh, is he the one going for the uh, the wine? Is he? Green. Is green Gillis livery colour? I'm not even sure. Don't know if I know. Can I read that note without knocking you out? I mean, I guess I can do this. 
Who's there? Hello? Oh, what was that? Damn, my slippery fingers, damn. My feet up my guy I screwed it up. I had to take a bottle, but my fingers slipped and fell to the ground and broke it all while I went down the sewers for the rats and the spiders and the like to drink. Sorry, hope you're not angry over it. Dang. It's actually just been taking the wine that he wrote his name admitting to it. Let's get quietly in here, Garrett. Oh, everybody's been taken away. You asked why I still work in here. That name. Lord Giller. Seems rich, eh? Rich or not, he's paying me less than A. West did. Oh well, at least I don't have to share my bed with a burrick. But I'd still much rather leave this place than stay. I need the money so I can join the artist's guild with my friend, Obert. Being a free artist has always been my dream, remember? I miss you. Yours, Sylv. <sighs> Go again. But yes, this is Gellar's place, as I half suspect it. Do you mind being quite so noisy with your snores? <laughs> Shit, I thought he turned around right. Hmm. Must have been rats. <coughs> Luckily, Lord Gellar does not think. Does not think it's worth paying uh, for the good guards, so he gets the ones that are, have pretty terrible observation skills. All right. What we do know is this is the way in to Lord Killer's place. So I'm going to just explore the rest of the sewer as well in here. Right. It might be worth. It might be something worth having. I don't plan to come back to the sewers. We have a nice back gate that's open. Which, which, which exit is this? Okay, that's that one. Oh, it goes down. Can I get back? Yes, there's a ladder. Okay. Oh, I mean, this is pretty clean as far as sewer water goes, isn't it? Oops. Good ladder placement. Alright, so that's we're heading west. There is another path for the east. Alright, well. Hello. Well, there's the meal for today. Ha ha ha. What do we have, sir? Bread. Money. I get the bastard's key. Ha ha ha. I'm empty full house tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha. My plan was perfect. First snooping the inside, acting like a peddler, and then getting the key at night. Ha ha ha. Oh, Pong, the master thief strikes again. What does the key open anyway? Oh shit, better hide for a while. Gotta get some more supplies. Food is running low, gonna take the key with me so no one takes it. Oh, is he the guy? Is he the guy with the guest room key at the end then? That would make a lot more sense than being an actual guest. That would make a lot more sense if it's just some random tapping who got hold of a pretty useless key that's gonna go to a pretty empty guest room, right? I mean, I expect the guest room will be pretty empty. Good ladder placement means you can walk off the top and you can walk back onto it. I mean, it's not ideal. Ideally, it would extend slightly further above the edge, so... But ideal ladder placement, you can see that it's there. And I can just barely see. It's better than nothing, but it's not... You know, should be slightly higher. Reminds me, I should read the ladder climbing code in, in the Thief Source because uh, 
It's interesting how the tops of ladders behave because you, unlike most solid things, you can actually kind of walk through it to some degree. All right, this is the first sewer grate, sewer door that I noticed. So the ladder extends up above the edge. You can still just walk off the top through the ladder onto the uh, ground below. All right. Wee. Okay. All right, back we go to the Guild of Assassins. <laughs> the Guild of. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Brain is not coming up for a good joke there. You know what? I just had a fun idea. Why don't we take that dead thief's body and leave it inside Lord Gellis? Then. The guards. We'll find it. Oh, you know what? Or even just leave it here with the... Make it look like he fell down and died on his way out. And then they'll have somebody to blame. I mean, they won't recover any of the loot. But at least they'll have someone to blame. <coughs> hmm. Your lights work. Where did you go? <coughs> One point eight. Okay, that's locked. Okay. Hey, what was that? Just the end, I guess. Everything's locked down here. <laughs> I'm hearing footsteps on the other side of the door. Oh, shh. Did you just lock that again, man? That was way too close for comfort there. Is this still locked? Oh man, he did just lock it again behind me. Oh, he probably unlocked it while I was still lockpicking it. Okay. Well, it should stay unlocked now. to think of it though, I really ought to have left it uh, open so I can hear if anyone's coming through it. Hello? Another key, this one's unlabeled. Jonathan's diary, 25th of August. Lord said that we can be, be a bit more lax this evening. He said that we can bring some ale and go to bed more early than usual. He said that we had earned it because we are so good guarding his precious stuff. Note to myself, Lord said that if Marcus wishes to keep his job, he should go to see the Lord. I haven't seen Marcus for a week now. He's probably just gotten himself into trouble all drunk. Again. Too bad for him. 22nd of August. Yet another thief. Someone stole a servant's wagon yesterday eve. And of course that idiot coward Jarok ran to Lord and told what had happened. Never seen him so calm before. Must have been Jarok's lucky day. Today the lady came to me gave me a key. Don't know what it opens, but she told me to keep my eyes at it. I'm on it. She's going to go to some kind of a marketplace thingy. Not going to be back for a couple of days. 23rd. Marcus came in today, and would you know, he was drunk. I don't even want to guess where that taffer got money, but I'm the closest thing he might call a friend, so I sent him to shower to clear his head. But the Lord didn't see him. Just remember, today's my weekly bury watching day, so I have to go to the chamber to be sure that no one steals them too. Who would want those trickster beasts anyway? Oh, he has, he has pet burricks. You know, maybe this Lord Geller fella isn't half so bad. <sighs> Can't even get on this bed. Alright. <coughs> I mean, anyway, who keeps pet barracks isn't all bad. Yeah, that 
like it's coming to. Let's just uh, sit here and observe for a minute. Nothing now. <coughs> so that guy's gonna be coming back shortly. Don't know how long he stays up there. doors to unlock over here. doesn't do anything because guards can <laughs> see through the doors. The door is open. The door is open, it does not actually block vision. Alright. Now we have two oops, two rooms we can check out. I mean, but not your money. That's that's typical guard logic. Right, I mean, you always fight the other guy for the money, but wait, fighting the other guy isn't going to get you your wine back, is it? Uh, uh, two guards have to share this room. Poor fellows. Alright, so they only got crap wine unless they're hiding some behind this pile of boxes. You have know these sneaky taffers? I mean, guards, I'm the taffer, obviously. Alright, what do we expect when we go up from the basement? The basement comes out into the dining hall? That seems odd, but I guess. I mean, I guess if the kitchen stuff is in the basement, then that would make sense. Seems possible. Okay, you goes further. I guess. He goes further along that way than I thought. What's he, what was he reacting to there? Just the wind. What was he seeing? No idea. What was that noise? I'm hearing other footsteps around. Okay. Hello? That's a valuable painting. Some hammers might pay a nice gold piece or two for that. You know, their religion is not really something uh, that Garrett respects, but uh, if that religion makes them want to spend money on such things, then it's at least of interest. <coughs> Okay, the one of them's coming back now. <clears throat> What's this trapdoor? Oh, it's a light. Hello? That's big double doors? I wonder what that's 
for. What's this? Mary, please hurry up a little and go by that damn wagon. You might wonder why I've started to care about the servants. After all, the thieves took the servants' wagon, not ours. But yesterday my dinner was late because the servants had to walk to Stone Market and back. The annual wagon market is being held this weekend. You could go in there and pick a nice wagon for us. Well, them. You can take the other wagon with you. You're Bruno. Why am I hearing guards out here? That's south. That's not on my map as... as where we would be expecting basement stuff to happen. Oh, I see. I'm hearing the guards on the balance. You know what, let's unlock this side of it. We've just got these old-fashioned double lock doors, which is, you know, good for security, but bad for tappers. Wow, he's got a lot of guards out here. <coughs> this is the front gate, I guess. Gonna run and open that door, but I didn't notice he turned around, so that's... window. Okay, he does turn this way sometimes. I guess I got lucky when I opened the door. Don't <laughs> really want to spend a water arrow here if I don't have to. Oh, that's just up. Probably don't want to go up here. got anything worth having. I mean, they probably do, right? <laughs> this guy's gonna be a problem if he turns to face this way. But, uh, how about we vacate the scene before he brings anyone actually dangerous? Oh, is this key open? It does. The lady's key opens this door. Oh, it's the barrack pit. It's the barrack room. Okay. How are you doing, my beautiful barfing babies? Hmm. 
actually got some nice food there. Can I pick up the carrot? Alright, I'll, I'll definitely spend the water out here. I don't want to alarm these. These fellas more than they have to be alarmed. Oh dear. You've got an You're not supposed to eat the guards, you know that? Bad Barrick. Does he have any any valuables on him is the question. No. Alright. Have him. He's yours. Tight. Enjoy, enjoy your uh, meal of, of God. I hope he's not too drunk. Kind of affects the flavour, I think. Okay. Invisible there, but I won't be able to see the guards go by. One pokes his head in here. Okay. The other one is clearing his throat rather What's a lot. That? Who knows? Hmm. Guess it was nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. who was that? You just gonna stand there? Please don't just stand there. Oh, the light switch here for me. Hello? Hello? Uh, <coughs> sorry. Don't want to do it, but I don't really have too much, too many options right now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna feed you to the barracks. Maybe I could have doused the fire, but... <clears throat> the other guy's coming soon as well, so I've got to be quick here. Somewhere I can go. Locking myself in. These beautiful babies. You know what? I didn't even read this tip. Gee, Keller has a new kind of security system called the DQ system. I have no idea how it works, but I've heard that it isn't just a normal press the button for alarm type, but something more clever. It'd be wise for you to observe how it works. T. Alright, that sounds interesting. So the alarm stuff is upstairs? Okay. Oh, he does have the key here. Maybe the barracks are gonna get another. I'll find you. Damn you. Maybe. Ah. 
Going away, I guess I don't have to feed him to the barracks. I'm surprised he had the key, but. My plan of, of locking him out now was not gonna work. Alright, well. I don't know where he is on his patrol. It's not a good place to observe from. If we get back to that other room, the dark room, which I could look out down the hallway from, but uh, we have this other guard to worry about first. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. I guess the other guy will have gone back through the kitchen, right? Mm. No, I stopped. So that's where he saw me. Guess it was nothing. Maybe we can finish up in here. I don't know why I wasn't pulling out my sword and actually just attacking the guy for real instead of uh, continuing to bludgeon him. I was just like, I don't know, I kind of, once the barracks were alerted, it kind of felt like that was it. When he goes upstairs? Then what circuit is he doing? He's definitely doing circuits. Huh? What's that? Hey, someone tapping about. No. What a ridiculous idea that would be. When I find you, you'll regret it. <laughs> There's nothing here. Thief! I told you so. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. Okay, so. Oh, we're doing pretty well on loot. What is our loot goal? 1200, but almost there already. Definitely gonna need to get off. Okay, here's our other guard friend. Where does he go? He's the one who goes into the basement, so there must be another way into the basement. Because he goes out that door. Yeah, it's gonna be a way into the basement. Like, I mean, I guess just come to think of it, I didn't explore the door that he comes out of in the basement, right? Let's check them out. Dining hall. The main hall's probably got guards in it, right? Just hanging around, but these other rooms might be clear enough. Oh, I'm hearing whistling. Is that our friend coming back? Or is that guards I'm hearing out there? Ah, oh, it's our friend coming back. Well, good to hear he's still in high spirits. I do wonder if that painting is valuable too. I don't know how to spot that. Uh, this mission might have lots of valuable paintings, I guess. <coughs> how would we know except by going and looking at them? Hmm. 
Nah, it doesn't look like they're generally. Doesn't look like that's generally a thing. Alright, not much damage in here. This is the. Oh, this is where the servant came in, right? This, this goes to the back garden. Oh, it's guarded. Yeah, there's the back gate. Of course, it's guarded. Play you again? No, you always win. Lost enough money. Here. I'll let you get first. Like that helped me, you tougher. Come on, low bets. Just one. Well... Okay, here. Stone or coin? Hmm, all right. Uh, stone. Nope. Cards it. How do you do that? Here you go. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Stone or coin? Coin. Damn you! Here! Double or nothing again? Oh, get away from me! Last time we went this way, huh? I owed you three weeks! <coughs> oh, Benny. Stop jumping at nothing! Oh, Benny, you're least. <coughs> Where's this guy going? Leaving all the money on the table. Wow. Chapel. Well, I like this chapel. It's nice and dark. Which makes it feel safe. Makes it feel like a pretty good place to end this episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon for the next one.